Hey guys, this is Andy here, and you're watching Pillow Talk. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Hey guys, Andy here. I uh, just wanted to make this quick video before we run out of time. Before we run out of time! Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, there's only a couple minutes left until my birthday ends. I just wanted to make a quick video to let you know uh, what all happened on uh, this special day, my uh, 27th birthday. And uh, to be honest, not a whole lot. Um, set at uh, Starbucks for most of the time, uploading videos. Uh, the rest of the deployment videos are out, or they're uploaded, I should say. Um, and I have them scheduled for release all the way up till a uh, little past Christmas of 2012. So if you're watching this in the future, greetings! <laughs> and the videos are already uploaded, so this whole point, this whole little part is pointless. Womp! But anyway, um, aside from that, I uh, had a lot of good food. Went to uh, Giardelli's, this little ice cream shop, which uh, you might know them from their chocolate. They're pretty darn famous for their chocolate, and it's pretty good. <laughs> well, pretty good's an understatement, I should say. Uh, had their Mint Bliss Sunday to celebrate my birthday, and uh, it was really good. Um, really expensive, though. It was about 10 bucks, but totally worth it. It's just so amazing, especially, especially for a chocolate lover like myself. Uh, if you, any of you guys out there love chocolate, even just an inky little bit, definitely check out Giardelli's. Won't be disappointed. So, aside from eating and uh, being at Starbucks and being a generally lonely, depressed person on his 27th birthday. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my day. But um, I did want to talk about a little something, kind of uh, spit some philosophy you guys' way, I guess you could say. Um, I kind of came to the realization that I didn't really like where my life was going as far as how I treated myself personally after, uh, you know, before deployment. Because before deployment, I basically was in school because, you know, I was like, I didn't actually get to my ship until a couple days before we deployed. So I didn't really have a frame of reference for how, you know, people you know, what people do when they're in home port and they're out in the fleet and stuff like that. Because I basically came from school to the ship, so, yeah. Um, so, I mean, coming back here, I didn't really have a frame of reference of what to do with myself, like in my free time and stuff, because everything is so regimented and so scheduled when you're on deployment, and you kind of have to find, I mean, there's times where you have a lot of free time, you're not really doing anything, and then there's times where you're Constantly doing stuff, and you may only have, like, a couple minutes to yourself a day, if that. So, um, to go from that to basically, you know, not really doing anything all week, uh, it's a pretty tough transition, and uh, I didn't really know what to do, so I kind of uh, decided to come back to my roots, uh, went back to uh, ASW, that's where I'm at right now, I'm at the, uh, the hotel at ASW, because... Pretty cheap rates if you're in the military. So it was a little over a hundred bucks for a two nights stay. Not bad. And I decided to come back here and just kind of uh, regroup, I guess. And uh, uh, just kind of going and doing the things I used to do before I went to my ship and all that fun stuff. And I kind of came to the realization that, you know, I'm not that person anymore. I'm not the you know, the quiet, shy person that sits at Starbucks all day anymore. I mean, I can do that, and it, it, and sometimes it is nice to do that to help me regroup and rethink and just relax all the rees, <laughs> I should say. But I, I don't want to do that all the time. It just, it's a really boring, really lonely lifestyle, and I don't really want that for myself anymore. I want to, I want to be a little more open, a little more social, but... For someone like me who's a real introvert, and not only introverted, but I'm also shy too, so a <laughs> double whammy. And I know I'm coming off as really outgoing and stuff like that in my videos, but I mean, if you approach me in real life, I'm I'm really clunky as far as social interaction goes, unless there's uh, some way for me to weave myself into the conversation. I mean, it's... I mean, just trying to do, like, a cold start conversation is really hard for me. Mostly because I see it as 
largely pointless or just like really rude like you're interrupting somebody I mean just coming out of nowhere and be like you know hey <laughs> and just talk about something you know that's just I don't know it seems really impolite to me unless you have a particular reason or like an in or something you can contribute to the conversation or something like that it's just I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm just being really neurotic but uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, just put stuff in the comments below. Do good shit. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here. So, this video is about five and a half minutes of unentertaining wing bang zing bang zing ziz zaz zang. Whatever that special zazziness is. Now, I know I don't have all the cool special effects that all the cool YouTubers have, and I don't have a lot of nut shots or anything like that to show you guys. And uh, generally try to be as unfunny as possible. But I better sign out before this turns into a super long rant, which it already has. So yeah, this is the Andy song right here. Sign out for now. Thanking you guys right there, the double double finger point, for tuning in. And uh, watching this video and others. And also got to thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing. Sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Get you there, guys. Bye.